Randy's Paranormal Investigation. Let me check out a couple headstones here. Find some dates. This is 1912. Nancy Angeline Andrews, wife of R.R. Bryson. 1839 to 1912. That one actually fell off of the base. might be on the other opposite side it is but wow I can't even make it out I was trying to see if maybe I could 18 looks like 1841 is the date there And then it has something engraved in it. But I, I, I have no clue. Ouch. This is McQuiston. March 16th, 1883, it looks like. And his wife, Sarah Long, 1880, up on the hill up there. I don't know if they're older, but they're up there. Macadoo. They're also up on the top by the entrance. This is 18 George McAdoo, 1872. He was born 1801. Then his wife Sarah was born in 1802 and passed in, it looks like, 1889. I'm kind of guessing at that. Oh, this is another McAdoo. You can barely see it because it's kind of dark. You can see the name there on the headstone. I've heard something over in the woods over there. Another McAdoo. can't read these ones. They've actually fallen over. I am going to do a spirit box. But my wife has her best friend with us. And we get them two together. Got a lot of giggling going on. 
But hey, I guess that's good, a good thing. We've been friends since school. Let's see. Died 1840, 1849. Maria. I don't see a last name though. Margaret can't make it out. This is 1898. It's writing on that one as well. And family stones. I'm getting way down here. I guess these ones down here didn't want no neighbors. Oh, these are... <coughs> Harry Richards, son of H. and M. I. Rogers. It was 1935 to 1942. Just a child. This is Elizabeth Jane Rogers Curley, 1851 to 1935. This is 1970. The child, and over here, right over here, is Mary L. Rogers, 1848 to 1901. So I'm guessing that that would be Harry's mother. Yeah, Mary M. I. Rogers. So, yeah. Let's walk up, back up the hill. As you can see the hill up there. Another headstone that fell. This is David Davidson, looks like eighteen ninety-eight, eighteen seventeen to eighteen ninety-eight. Patrick Robert eighteen he died in eighteen fifty six and then his wife right beside him. She, she passed away in eighteen play like sixty eight. Here's D H M K 
McKinley, McKinley, that's D.H. McKinley, died March 15th, 1857, age five years old. And then an R. McKinley, January 6th, 1862, he was 14. And then an N.J.G. McKinley, 1842, at the age of 16. Why? had to unlock the car. My wife could get her walking stick. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's go up here. I guess her and her buddy are going to take a walk. Yeah, see them. I know you can see them walking up there. That's my wife and her bestie. Uh, <laughs> the wife made her best friend get on the other side so I didn't get her on the camera. <laughs> yeah, too late. You can see more graves there. We're gonna forgot I had the K2 meter in my back pocket. Let's see if we can get anybody to light that up. Any spirits coming to light this up? The K2 meter. This device in my hand. In my left hand. It won't hurt you. Here, get spirit box. There's some graves clear over that way. A lot of space for more there. And up on the hill up here. Besides the, there we go, a little better there. How's that?
If there are any spirits that wish to come out and speak, you're welcome to do so. I'm not here to disrespect you in any way. My name is Randy. Sorry about that. Anyone is welcome to... Could you say that again, please? Can anyone tell us their name? Could you say that again, please? You might be able to hear the women in the background, but I can make out their their voices. How many spirits are wandering this evening? You don't have to be afraid to speak.
mosquitoes trying to get my nose. walk over to the car. My batteries are going dead too. Brand new batteries. Speak amongst yourselves. I'm gonna light this light, this meter. Make them lights go off. Can you do that? Quit speaking. All right. We're going to end the video. Can you say so long? Can you say so long? Oh, you didn't have nothing to say. That's my speaker. Didn't have nothing to say until I picked them up.
can barely make out the headstones up there, but they're there. The flagpole clear up there. You don't look at the sky. Can you say so long? Can you say so long? Okay. Well, if you can say so long, say it, please. Right. They don't got a lot to say to this evening. So we're going to end this here. drop everything down yeah I just picked you up this is Randy's paranormal investigations uh, we'll see you next time thanks for watching